So in today's video, I wanted to share a really eye-opening uh, tip that I learned from the great guitarist Julian Lodge and how you can apply it to some solo guitar pieces or any aspect of your playing, really, because I find that this opens a lot of doors. Um, so this technique is this idea of getting into contrapuntal guitar playing, where you have multiple voices, probably start with two, moving at once. And it's such a beautiful sound, and it's something that I've always been blown away with in Julian Lage's playing. And it's something that I found really kind of opened ideas both in soloing and ideas of keeping lines happening in two places at once and in my solo guitar arrangements and in my comping in terms of keeping things moving and it's something that I've, I've, I've really been a fan of since diving into. So what is this idea? Uh, he says in an interview that he had a teacher, I can't remember who he, he credits to this but I got it from him so I'll credit to Julian Losh there and this idea is that in a song, any song, there's two melodies happening at once. There's the melody that we all know. So there I was using All the Things You Are, which has this. Ah, sorry. And then there's the melody of the bass movement where you get. And so this idea is that you should be able to play both melodies at once, or maybe not that you should be able to, but that you can play both melodies at once. So if I were to do that, really simply, it would sound like this. So I've got my melody, which goes... And I've got my bass melody that goes... And this is just the root movement of the chords. played a bum note, it should have been D flat there. So in its simplest form, if I was playing the melody notes with the bass, it would sound like that, with the root of the chord in the bass, it would sound like this. So if I were to take that simple, simple idea of playing the melody while playing my chord roots, couple little flubs in there, but if I take that idea and I wanted to expand upon it, the next logical spot would be to add maybe a root and fifth in there. And then, so for every chord, so say for example my F minor 7 that starts off the tune, I'm going to play F and then C. And then the thing that's cool about this is we can simulate a bass walking with a two feel underneath our melody, which is a really, really beautiful sound, especially if we were playing kind of like solo chord melody style. So if I took... Then... So then if I were to take that idea and maybe move to the bridge, a cool contrasting idea is now, since I have this really nice sparse kind of walking bass, or not walking, it's in two, this two feel bass going to the bridge, maybe I want to bring in some chords. So maybe I come in, I've just finished my, um, um, then maybe now I go. So that kind of idea can create these really, really unique contrapuntal guitar things that sound super full and are maybe a little bit more interesting than if I went... It's a 
little bit more interesting than that, in my opinion. But it also can prove as a great kind of diverging point. So first example there I did walking for the, the A, the B, and then the bridge. So to expand on this idea, what if I did that for my A, and then when I get to the B section, I'm going to play chords. Then here, maybe. You know, you can mess around with this in a whole bunch of different ways. And I mean, it's definitely tricky to work out. Like, it almost feels like I, when I started exploring this idea, it was like I was learning to play chord melody all over again. But the thing that's really cool about it is it gets you to practice this idea of hearing two musical lines and playing two musical lines at once. And it's something that I found really opened the doors both in my solo guitar playing and in my actual playing. Like if I was on a gig, this idea of having two melodies kind of happening at once is a really interesting idea to kind of dive into. So that's kind of the basics of it. You, get the, you can expand it and make it as complex as you'd like, or you can keep it as simple as just... And it sounds beautiful. That would have been where I wanted to resolve to. Um, but it's just a really simple idea that has a lot of really beautiful musical chances. So please, I mean, be kind to yourself while you're working on this. It's definitely tricky playing two things at once on the guitar, but I think it really helps you see some different possibilities rather than I feel like sometimes in guitar we get kind of locked into, you know, like this is my chord shape, it's immovable. Um, but this idea of being kind of flexible and bringing in bass lines or melodic things on top of your chords. It's something that's really, really good for kind of stretching your brain and opening the possibilities available to you through your hands. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. I have new videos coming out every Monday and Thursday. If you'd like to take a guitar lesson with me, I've been connecting with a bunch of you guys actually lately, and it's been awesome. I have a contact link down below in the description there. I'd love to work with you. I teach all genres and all levels of students. And I guess until I see you next time, I'll wish you a wonderful day and I hope you have some fun playing the guitar. Thank you so much for watching.